Let us sail through this ceremony without any inconveniences. Let your love lead every speaker here today. And let us end with you just as you started with us in Jesus' name. His corporate excellence has guided NITIS Group's strategic compliance across 10 African countries and stirred great Argon Holdings' diverse ventures to new heights. As the CEO and principal consultant of JIK Management Consultancy Services, his leadership extends through seven African countries, demonstrating his profound impact on continental business practice. His role as the head of management system at both Interplus Limited and Fox Cooling Group further showcases his multifaceted talent and commitment to excellence. His accolades, which spans the globe, speak volumes of his dedication to foster growth, quality, and organizational eminence. His education and certifications from prestigious institutions worldwide only further cement his status as a shining star in his field. Please join me in welcoming a man of esteem, a strategist of rare acumen, our chairperson for the Avatime Amu Festival, Mr. Ishmael Ojoko, to guide today's proceedings and share his invaluable insights. Let us accord him the warmest of our Avatime welcome. The Osi Ajate Board, the seventh of the Awatime traditional area, the one chair, Prof. Nana Jeno Poko the Honorable MP for O West, Honorable Emmanuel Pasi Pedra, the Honorable Guest of Honor, Distinguished Guest Professor Lydia Aziato. To be with you today as your chairman of the occasion. As a young child, who was bringing was on the soil of Avatime, cared for by the great Avatime woman called Elizabeth Klu Nagoso, I in old Jokwe, I cannot be a prouder today in celebrating Avatime woman. With an ecotourism, it is joyous occasion that brings forth a beauty, uniqueness of our heritage. As you can see, our heritage displayed by our kings and queens of Avatima. First and foremost, let us acknowledge an incredible Avatima woman, a beacon of strength, resilience, and grace. She effortlessly carries the torch of tradition, infused with a sense of independence and determination breaking the stereotypes and reaching new heights. Her spirit echoes through the valleys and the troughs, inspiring generations to embrace their roots and bloom of pride. Because an Avatima woman is a great woman. In this moment today, let us join our hands raised up 
Tunabatima woman. I go, Mama Wapalo, Robata Pete, Mama Wapalo. Jamie, Honorable Professor Jen Nana Opoku Ajeman, the 2020 NDC Vice Presidential Candidate and the former first Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast. My Professor Lydia Asiato, the first female Vice Chancellor of the University of Health and Allied Sciences. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My MP, Honorable Kwesi Bejira. <laughs> Honorable District Chief Executive, NS Yao Apao, for the whole West District. Distinguished Ministers of State here present, Ambassadors and members of the Diplomatic Corps, I was expecting the UNDP resident representative here to be here. He promised, she promised coming. Yesterday she called me, that duty called, so she had to respond to duty. I accepted it. The chairman and members of the Central Planning Committee of AMUFES and the Local Organizing Committee of AMUFES, Abatime Jogwepeme 2023. Distinguished twins who have been recognized here. <clears throat> My Lordship Justice Dogu, Justice of the High Court. My pharmacist, Harrison Abutiate, Dr. Ochina, the immediate past chairman of the Avatime Biakpa Amufes Planning Committee, Bekusiba Okusie, Okufurubo Ajiman, the seventh. Okusie, Ajesie, the fourth, Okusie, Ponuglo, the tenth of Abatime Jogwefeme, Okusie, Ab Abatime Jogwe, we are here in Abatime Jogwefeme, so don't worry. Okusie, Akoto of Abatime Vane, Okusie Tachi of Abatime Biakpa, Okusie Achomfole of Abatime Amejofe. I am all indebted to you this morning. Our media friends here, Kedone, Kedeje, our distinguished Kusakoko celebrants, Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure and satisfaction to see all of you here today at this year's Avatime Amu Festival, where we celebrate our mountain, organic mountain brown rice we call Amu Fest, in the lovely town of Avatime, Jogwepeme. Yes, my excitement has reached such a height that leaves me with no doubt about the capability, the fortitude, the determination, and the can-do spirit of the people of Avatime, and particularly Onichi Yasewa Jabraka the tent, who, in the midst of all doubts, stood up as a true KDJ to rescue the situation. Onichi Owalokwe. And so I dove my heart to the local planning committee as well. The local planning committee 
led by George Ofori of Gosa TV, elders of Avatime Jovekweme, Antonia Asari Akrapa, Krapa, Mr. Leonard Asari, the Anibrikas, the Gabus, Mark Bubwama, and the supporting encouragement and direction from the Abatime Youth and Development Association, the Central Planning Committee members, who within this short period of time have made this celebration one we are all enjoying today. Mr. Chairman, I cannot forget the readiness and acceptance of all invited guests, the Avatima citizens home and abroad, who have contributed today's, to today's event. Those of you beautiful people who have made Avatime your destination of choice today, I say, no me galo. Avatime Amufest is celebrated annually on rotational basis among the seven Avatime towns to commemorate the cultural heritage and her historic significance of the brown rice, the Avatime local dialect called Amu, which has been bequeathed to us by our forefathers when they traveled from southern Sudan through Ileife to Ahanta, through Adan, Legon, Adan, with their brothers, Agotime people, through Tainbe, Mate, and presently in the mountains here, where our forefathers settled at Ohulusun in Abatime Biakwa. I want to commend the organizers for staging a pilgrimage to our ancestral home at Okulosun. I invite you delegates to find time to visit that ancestral home. Our roads in Abatime, particularly the town roads of Abatime Vane, Abatime Amidope, the tourist link roads from Abatime Fume through Bajeme to Amidope, and Abatime Fume to and of course, the Avatime Jogbefebe road, which we traveled on this afternoon, this morning, need to deserve the attention of the district assembly, the Volta region, coordinating council, and the ministry of road. We have been talking about these roads for umpteen years now. And recently, when the president Nanadu Adankwa Kufado came to commission the small water community water project in Abatime Amejofe, he promised that within a few weeks, work will start on the Abatime Amejofe town roads. And this has been emphasized by the then senior minister, Yao Osafo Mafo that within two weeks, the contractor will come to site. Weeks are still not reached yet. We're hoping that something will be done. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Avatime Jogbefeme, where we are celebrating the Amu Fest this year, intends to use the proceeds of the Amu Fest to rehab rehabilitate and refix the only bridge that links them to the rest of the world. And so with the support from the engineers of the district assembly, we came up with a little over 117,000 cities, Ghana cities, as a cost for the rehabilitation. And I trust that the chairman who promised that he's going to be here throughout the day will help us realize the 117,000 Ghana cities for us to do the job that we are celebrating the Amu Fest for. Next year is election year. And now we urge all political parties, foot soldiers and sponsors, to conduct the campaigns in more decorous manner. 
respecting our culture, tradition, rights of the individual voters, and respect, but not to subvert the sovereign will of the people. that we learn who we are. So please, this is one plea I've come to you with today. And as I said, I'm very happy that it's about a woman. You see, isn't it interesting that she chose healthy food? 
I don't think it's a coincidence. Food, we know, is the first necessity of life. Healthy food, even better. And today we salute her, Oliche Amu, the first. Wherever she is, may God continue to keep her beautiful food. For setting such an example that we all need to follow. She didn't take, excuse me to put it bluntly, she didn't take the technology with her. Every so often we say we don't see women scientists. If she wasn't a scientist, she would not have done that. Because she come with very wrong labels in order just to keep the women out. She did food processing. Today we are still talking about food processing. And I ask myself, if food processes are not chemists, if food processes I know about chemists, I don't know what they are. And it's the women who do that. But somehow we leave them somewhere in the garbage dump, somewhere in the sun, in the rain. But these are the people adding value to our products. We need to pay more attention. We want to present to you some of the products from the mountain organic growers. We have the spice flour from the rice. We have the roasted rice flour for papansa and akne. That food, you can eat it even midnight, within 30 minutes is dissolved. Yeah. Then we have the baby food. In fact, this is the best brain food in this country. And uh, it's top diner in children. I'm using the same uh, baby food to prepare cake and bread. So we want to say thank you for coming. This is what we eat over here. No wonder you all eat so Come, Miss Amu, this evening. Thank you so much.